Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare suppositories using double cast techniques and for this we have a suppository base, we have drug and we have a PAM spray just to make sure that our suppositories are not going to stick into the suppository mold. This is a suppository mold and our suppository base which we have taken today, you know, in each mold each mold can accommodate approximately two grams of suppository base. Okay, and the other thing is we need a stainless steel spatula and a stir bar and a thermometer. Okay, and we need two uh, 50 ml glass beakers or 100 ml glass beakers. So either one is fine, 50 or 100 ml glass beakers. And the first thing what we're going to do is in the double casting technique, we are going to melt the base and to this melted base like up to 50 degrees centigrade we'll melt that and we're going to add the drug okay so but we are not going to take 100 percent of the base today whatever we have what we're going to do is for example if we need uh, 24 grams why 24 grams because this suppository mold can accommodate approximately 24 grams as I mentioned earlier each mold uh, each suppository mold can accommodate 2 grams right so 12 can accommodate 24 grams right so but we have no information if we add drug to the suppository base and uh, what is the maximum weight of each suppository that we are going to get so to find out that we under we perform a double casting technique so as I mentioned earlier the first step is melt the base I already melted the base and as you can see the stir bar is inside okay so once I melt the base to this base I add the drug so once you add the drug it looks like this a homogeneous solution okay and once it reaches normal temperature not normal temperature like approximately like 50 degrees centigrade and it's lukewarm okay when it's lukewarm what we do is we are going to fill our suppositories mold with uh, the homogeneous mixture whatever we have prepared but we are not going to completely top it off we are going to partially fill that let me show you clearly we are going to partially fill that we are not going to completely fill our suppository mold I hope you can see that clearly so they're all partially filled okay so once they're partially filled you know leave it aside let it solidify okay once this partially filled mold solidifies what we are going to do is we are going to uh, again melt our base whatever the base we have the leftover base we're going to melt the base okay and this melted base will be added slowly you know back to our molds okay our partially filled molds but make sure that these uh, suppositories you know which are partially filled here are solidified first at the same time this suppository just the suppository base okay is lukewarm it should not be hot because the reason if, if it is hot what happens is it is going to leach the drug from the solidified suppository back to the top and that will destroy our purpose we want you know a drug and the suppository at the bottom layer and the top layer is just the suppository so this is how you can you know just completely top it off make sure you, know, you over pour it now this time okay so let me show you clearly so I'm over pouring it okay so if you can see that so I over pour it completely okay the solidified uh, one looks like this because I over poured it as you can see poured it so the solidified one looks like this okay the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up my spatula this stainless steel spatula so this this stainless steel spatula is a little bit warm and hot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape the superficial layer like this can you see that so I'm going to scrape the superficial layer slowly okay if it is like if it is uh, you know really uh, warm then you can scrape it smoothly and you'll get a you know the superficial layer it will be like this which is devoid of any drug okay so the next step what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to press the suppository molds from the back so that my suppositories pop up from the mold okay so this is how the suppositories will pop up because what we're going to do, let me show you this okay the suppositories will look like this okay as you can see clearly the top layer is just the base and the bottom layer is drug plus the base so once you pop up all the 12 suppositories melt them recast them again 